so here we go. Another great adventure is on the horizon. That's right, we are taking off. We are driving south. We got Scott with us, Nick with us, and of course, Z Dog sleeping. So make sure you check out this video because it's definitely going to be a lot of fun and very interesting and educational. You're definitely going to love it. We'll see you there. Come on, come on, Nick. Let's go. Z, wake up. We're here, dude. We're here. Yeah. Mr. Sleeps a lot, Sleeping Beauty. I think I think Z is the real Sleeping Beauty. It was a I, long drive. Dude, it wasn't that long. Was you got to film. Take this. Uh, uh, uh. All right, guys. We finally made it. We're down here. Scott ran in to let them know we're here. Uh, check this out. This is Iguana Land. This is an actual reptile zoo. So it's super cool. We're gonna go in here. My friend Ty Parks built this and I haven't been here in years. He was a breeding facility last time I was here. We used to sell him a lot of uh, Zychora and a lot of other reptiles. Let's go in and check out what he's done with this place. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Come on, man. Oh, that's a, that's a cool logo. I love that logo. Cyclora wearing the hat. But then again, I'm kind of partial to wearing a hat. This is cool. This looks so cool. Oh my goodness. Wait, look wait. at these door handles. Those are cool. There's a monitor lizard and a cyclora. Those are super cool. Ow, ow, my finger's stuck. Let's go. All right, guys, check this out, man. We got Jacob. He's going to show us around and we got all these amazing things. We're gonna go check out turtles and tortoises first. Everybody loves tortoises, and I love turtles. Don't you, turtle, turtle? You guys are used to seeing these guys at our house, but look at this big girl. Oh yes, I know, hello. Hi. She is just absolutely beautiful. And look how pretty that shell is. Wow. You are a pretty girl, you know that? Oh, hello. Hello, kisses, nose kisses. Oh, oh. Man, she is beautiful. It's definitely still one of my favorite tortoises. Radiated, look at the yellow on there, man. They're just so incredible. And they're so friendly. They're so personable. Other tortoises, turtles, you do something like that, they try to bite your nose off. These guys, mwah, they just love love. Go set this one back down over here in the dry area. Yeah, I wish there was more of them in the United States. There you go, big girl. You guys want to come on in here? This will be a much closer look than out there. Now, due to all the rainfall they've been having, a lot of the pens are a little flooded. But, hey, that's how Florida life is. You know, we get a lot of rain here. So... You just do the best you can and go from there. Let's go check out these turtles. The tortoises love it. All right, so this is all of our babies for sale. We, uh, here's the Here's our core cyclonata, which 
this is a Vietnamese. Check these out. Now, this is a McCord box turtle, and they are actually found in central China. Now, in the wild, these guys are believed to be extinct. So there's another perfect reason why captive breeding is beneficial to species survival. No more in the wild, only in captivity. And check them out. They are so cool because they do have that hinged box where they can close totally up so they're away from predators and predators can't get a bite out of them. They're just gonna get shell. Nick's got one right there. This is probably a pair This is that we have here. I can't see the, that's a kind of, let me see the- They're all females. Oh, they are? So yeah, this one's a female for sure. I could get her tail out. Now, is Ty planning on getting any males? Has he got any leads? We're in the process of getting a male currently. Cool. They are uh, pretty pricey in the United States. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. But breeding them is so important. You got to make sure that these turtles are around for many generations and generations to enjoy. And who knows? One day, you might even be able to work on a reintroduction plan. Just... It's kind of tough to do, especially with Asian countries, because they love to eat turtles. Oh. Yeah, that one was trying to get its head out. They have uh, extraordinary colors, but they're being so shy right now. Their head is solid gold. Oh, man. So they're gorgeous, but he's being so shy. Maybe we can come back around and get him to pop out. Yeah, Zeke, come here. Let's see if... Here, let me get out of the way. He'll pop his head out. There, there she goes. Did seconds. you see that, Z? Or did you? She came out for just a second and went right back in. She'll come up for air in about 30 seconds if you wait on her. <laughs> he, he didn't say 30 seconds, Z. He said 30 there, minutes. There. You think you can sit there and wait? Yeah, probably. There we go. There's the top of the head. You can see it. They are such, a, they are truly a beautiful turtle. I don't know if you're gonna get her to pop up. She's gonna, she's gonna wait you out, Z. And we got so many more things to see here. So let's go do it. Let's I mean, we saw the top of the head. That's oh, Look something. at this. This is the Chinese box turtle. Yeah, that's the Chinese China. box. Central China yeah. as well. Look how pretty that is. Look at the nice yellow on there. Now these things are actually are rare as well. All your Asian species of turtles are getting pretty rare just because of the fact that people over there eat turtles. How could anyone eat you? You're too cute. Give me a kiss. <laughs> nah, -uh. this one might bite my nose. <laughs> These guys are actually only two years old as well. They're really? Growing. They're growing rapidly. Now this is a super shy species. I'll show you guys anyways. Oh my God. What's going on here? There's a snake in this shell. That's not a turtle. That's a snake hiding in there. Look at that. Uh, hello? Hello? Can you come out? This is a Timor snake neck turtle. And let's see. Even look at the scales on top of there. Look, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let's, oh, holy, that, look at that neck. Oh my goodness. That just doesn't stop, it just keeps going. And you do have legs and all, and feet and arms and feet and, oh my goodness, those are so cool. I love the snake necks, and a lot of you guys have always asked me about snake neck turtles. What do they look like? Well, here you go. Look at the pattern on the, it's not really a pattern, but the texture on the necks, the scales. It even looks like it resembles a snake's scales. Oh, those are so cool. 
I like turtles. Hello. Oh, that is so awesome. Here, little buddy, let's put you back in there. Whoever thunk that there were so many amazing, cool turtles in this world. So check out this fella here. They call this a vampire mud turtle. Musk turtle or mud turtle or I don't know, but you can see why it's called a vampire. Ah! I want to suck your blood. Blazy! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Can you open any wider? Is it, ah! I think I got you beat, buddy. Nah, not really. You win. Look at how attentive he is. Whoop. Whoop. Over here. He was going for my knuckles that were bent down here. Now you can see his head is much larger oh, than her female. head. Oh, the female. Look at that. Look how much bigger the male's head is than the females. So not only does it happen in the human race, it happens with turtles too. Oh, they're so cool. This is my guard turtle. Back, back. Check this out. Now there's a big snake neck. This is the Parker snake neck uh, turtle. They're from New Guinea, my favorite island. You guys know that, where all the cool stuff comes from. And look how big that turtle is. Put your put your head out. Put your head out. Let's see how. Oh my good. Would you look at that? That puts Tommy Lee to shame. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness, they are so amazing. That is such an amazing animal. Now these guys could actually sit in deeper water and sit on the bottom and reach right up, put that little snout out and get a nice big breath. And if danger's coming, whoop, and swim away. I'll bet you guys did not know. See this little spot right there? Right there, that little area right there? That's actually the turtle's ear. And it's covered by a thin layer of skin so water doesn't get in there. But they actually have extremely good hearing. And that's why I'm trying to be a little quiet. We all know how hard that is for me. But when you got an amazing animal like this in your hands, you do it. Alright. Oh. Let's go check out some more stuff. Check this out. Now, a lot of you guys thought that snapping turtles were only found in the United States. Wrong! This one right here, the Brander's Horse snapping turtle is found in Australia. It's their only species of snapping turtle found there. And look how pretty that is. Look at those eyes, man. I love looking at animals' eyes. You can see the intelligence in there and just, what do they say? The eyes are the what -Z? The oh. windows to the soul? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful turtle. Australia definitely has some cool turtles, man. And cool snakes, and cool spiders, and cool sharks, and cool everything. This is so neat. Now this is an Indian spotted turtle. And there's actually quite a few places breeding these in the United States and they're getting extremely rare in India. Now, here's where we run into a problem with science. Scientists over in India are saying, no, you can't send any of your babies back to India to reintroduce into the wild 
because they're scared of the bacteria and parasites that are found elsewhere outside of India. Now, if, if any of you know what Indian waterways are like, I don't think there's any bacteria that's worse here or parasites than that are found in India. Their water is disgusting. People tell you not to drink water in Mexico. Definitely don't drink it in India because a lot of them, they'll actually throw their deceased family members or whoever in the rivers. And then people bathe in there and wash their clothes and their dishes. Right. Ah. Right. This is another reason where I always say science has got to evolve because it's more important to save this species and reintroduce it into the wild than it is to not and let it go extinct in the wild. But a beautiful, look at the yellow spots on that head and the white spots all over the body, the feet. That is such a beautiful turtle. It's a shame. But at least here at Iguana Land, they're doing their part to ensure the survival of this species. So many cool turtles. Who, who would think Oh my goodness, check out this turtle. I caught a sea turtle. Oh, oh, wait a minute, you're not a sea turtle. You're a fake sea turtle. This is what's called a fly river turtle. Now, these guys are found in New Guinea, Australia, all around islands out through there. And if you look, they're a total aquatic turtle. These guys really don't come up on land except for when the fact that they have to come up to beaches, lay their eggs, much like our sea turtles do around the world, and then they go back into the water. Now, the difference with these are, the eggs will incubate, and then rainy season comes and floods out the beach area, so the eggs actually go underwater. And when the water hits those eggs, the eggs start popping open and babies start getting out. How cool is that, man? That's just an amazing turtle. And they are also called pig nose turtles because look, he got two noses. Not really two noses, but two nostrils. Really, really cool. All right, I know you don't like being out of the water, so I'm gonna hand you back up so we can get you back in there. And it's cool with these guys is you can actually just put heads of romaine lettuce in there and they will come up and munch on it. Such a magnet. Look at that. Look at, look at that. So graceful, just like a sea turtle. Amazing. Nature is just so cool. All right, let's go. Let's continue this journey. They're after something. Oh, he went between that building. Might have zipped into that enclosure. Uh, yeah, I just heard him, he's in the enclosure. Oh, he went up over the wire. Oh, we missed him. Uh, it was a black like, mamba. Running, he was like, on, eight feet <laughs> long. So no, it was a southern black racer. <sighs> Harmless snake here in the United States that many people freak out when they see them. And there's no reason to because you just saw why. They actually run from you, not at you. Come on. All right, check this out, guys. This is an actual dragon. It's called a black dragon. Oh, my goodness. Seat here, and yeah, she's gonna hold on. She got your chain. Look at that! Look at that! So, this is Sky, she's five years old. Uh, we just got her from uh, Monitor Ops and Exotics, donated to her, her, her to us. Came out of the box completely social, just climbed right up my shoulder. It was amazing. 
Now see, these don't look the same as the ones when we first imported black dragons. Ours had red eyes, mm -hmm. and the tongue was black with red tips. Yep. And the tail, see how this is like a paddle? It's a water monitor. This is definitely a water monitor. Ours, the tail was round like it is at the base here, and came more like a tree monitor. And they used their tail to climb, and we had that one that was nine feet. I think she's giving you guys kisses. So I don't know if this is the... You have to see how purple it is? From what I know, this is macromacula. Is that white? Definitely an Asian one. Yeah, it's definitely an Asian water monster. It's, I don't think that it's Kaman. Komane. Any I don't think that is Komani guy. I think that's a melanist. Because look at the eyes. Yeah, this is a melon. This is the more. This is right. Uh, I think we had the Komani recent, but uh, it didn't make it. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is the one thing you can't win with monitors. They have to get to the highest spot possible. Usually they always end up on top of my head. She likes my shoulders and my neck. Let's not get the claws on the neck, please. <laughs> They're amazing animals and they really do make great pets if you socialize them. You get out there, play with them. And I do advise though, use fingernail clippers and clip the nails because they get super, super sharp. Although it's a water monitor and it likes being down in the low, they will climb trees by the water, sit on the branches, and when they sense danger or they see prey, they'll dive off those branches into the water after it. Now, a lot of places in Asia, there's markets and everything, restaurants, and those people will go dump their scraps outside the back door these guys actually get trained like feral cats to wait for the restaurant shop owners to bring the food out and dump it. And they get super big, amazing, amazing animals and very intelligent. Can you see her face, see? Where is it? Now that's a face that everybody could love. You know? All right, let's put her up. Nick, you want to grab her? And go check out some other cool monitors and lizard species. <laughs> Nick's a little caught right now. Watch out for those fish hooks. <laughs> She'll pierce it for you. You'll end up like Johnny with two piercings in your lip. Your dad will kick my butt when you come home. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to go on the log. I like you. There you go. Oh. Can you my camera, Guys, you don't understand what I'm holding right here. It's an Anagata rock iguana. It's a Cyclora species. And these guys are so endangered. There's only 300 left in the wild. Now, right here at Iguana Land, how many do you guys have? We have seven of the 12 in the United There's States. There's only 12 in the US. And you guys don't even have any in Europe, do you? There's none in Europe, and the hope is to captive produce these. So they own seven of them. And one day, hopefully, to be able to send them back there to help the gene pool and reestablish the species. This thing is just so 
beautiful. Look at those big jaws. This is a male. Now, boys, you can tell because they do have those big jaws like that. And look, the Cyclora species, see the, in their eyes, you can see their eyes, but they always have red on the outside in the white part. Oh, you are so, so pretty. Here, you wanna walk? You like that? <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? He said, I need a woman. He said, I'm mature, I need a woman. Time to, uh, so, how do you say it? Uh, so my oats. So my oats. So my oats. So my oats. Time to, you know, spread my uh, genes out there. But look how beautiful he is, that blue. You are such a pretty boy. Look at that big crest right there. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, when he's showing off, it's nice and tall. Yeah, they'll stand straight up like that and they'll bob his head. If there was another male around, he'd be bobbing his head like that or a female because it's courtship as well as telling another male that, hey, this is my territory, get back. It's so cool. When you guys think of iguanas, people always think of those green iguanas. There's so many more different iguana species in the world that it's just unbelievable. Man, these things are... Hey, quick, look over there. There's a dead bird. <laughs> Let's go. Do you really think that was gonna work? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I can take it back home. He's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's check this out. We're going in. We're going in, people. Whoa. Check that out. Now look at that display. Much like a cobra opens their hood, these guys just do it, what is that, Z? Vertically. Vertically. Instead of horizontally. They're super, super cool snakes. Extremely fast. This one's actually being pretty mellow, but he's testing. See how that tongue's going? That's how you know that snake is a little bit like back off. So we're gonna back off to here and just let it do its thing. Let's see. Whoa! Did you see how fast that jerk was? I think you were a bit faster. I was, but look at that. That's amazing. I love these snakes. They, they tend to be a little mean, but they're so cool. So awesome. They're the tiger rat snake. And they're so, so, that was a half-hearted strike. Let's see. And notice he did it just as I was walking away from him. He's like, back off. All right, Z, you can take this one back now. I didn't want you getting bit, so I did that one. Check this out, guys. Oh my goodness. You guys have all seen Jurassic Park where that lizard opens its fins and then spits venom? Well, good thing I got my glasses on. I'm prepared. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that frill. Wait, is he gonna spit? I'm kidding, they don't spit, guys. This is their big defense mechanism. And if that doesn't work, you know what they do? Run. They stand up on their hind legs and run. And they will outrun you, Z. Everybody knows how fast you are, but trust me, they'll outrun you.
He was enjoying it until that second you grabbed him. I'm trying to get him. Look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look how big that is. You are such a big lizard. Yes, you are. He's trying to run with those hind legs. <laughs> that is incredible. As a kid, this was one of my favorite snakes. And as I got older, I actually dealt with enough of these snakes where I actually bred them in captivity. And they're super cool. They got cool camouflage and they got huge teeth. Well, they're not exactly called teeth because they're fangs. And I'm gonna tell you why, but come in here and look at this. I wanna get a beautiful photo of this because these snakes are my ultimate favorite snake. Still to this day, emerald tree boas. These are found all the way in Brazil, through Guyana and South America in there. And what they do is they lay up on branches like this. A little bird will come land over here and you see on that top lip, all those pits, those are heat sensing pits. Now they can detect the temperature difference of something like a bird or a mammal at a hundredth of a degree. And that will wake a sleeping snake up because it thinks meal time. And they get in there and they've got those huge fangs like I told you. And all they gotta do is, and they gotta have huge fangs because birds have feathers. They gotta penetrate that layer of feathers, pull that item in, and then wrap around it. They'll only wrap the top part of the portion of their body around it, and they'll use their tail to anchor on the branch. So that snake could hang all the way to here and arrange that bird so we could swallow it and then coil right back up on this branch to digest. How cool is that? Look at that nature's perfect camouflage. And if I can get a cool photo. This is such an awesome snake. I don't think you guys understand how cool it is. Man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful coloration, man. Once again, I say it all the time, how awesome is nature and how cool is that snake? Let's go check out some more stuff. All right, they said there's a dinosaur in here, so you know me, get in here. I do believe I located a dinosaur. Holy smokes, big fella. Look at you. You are massive. Guys, check this out. This is a rhino iguana. And these guys are super, super cool. We used to breed rhino iguanas on the farm and they're just so amazing. You're just a big boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He is so, so impressive. Look at that boy. Now look at the blue on his scales right there. On his face and everything. And look at him, he loves this. He's closing his eyes. He's like, oh, that feels good. Oh, you are so handsome. Now this again is in the Cyclora family. And these are probably the largest of the Cyclora, the most impressive. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. This guy 
He's about as tall as you, actually. Dude, he, he's darn near close. Yeah. Uh, here's the. I'm trying to show the camera best as I can to show the size. He's darn near as tall as I am. He's not our biggest either. You've got one bigger? Uh, just slightly. But when he, I'll show him to you guys. You can see he's got a bigger head. He's a little longer. Probably a little wider. And Ty got a bunch of these from us yeah. as babies. Probably like 11, 12, 13 years ago. Yeah. Ty, Ty always told me he got into Cyclora about 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was just getting into Cyclora, and he used to buy every single baby we hatched. Okay. The Cubans, the uh, um, the Blues, and the Rhinos. And we had Figgins Eye, Lewis Eye Cross as well. What? Got <laughs> any pictures? I gotta see that. Dude, I produced, well, Rob Roy and I produced the bluest blue iguanas yeah you people used to buy them and i gotta show you warren warren is a warren is a lewis hybrid do you want to see more oh man look at him z i'm just so in love with this guy so donkey kong is 26 he's uh and ty has had him for about 10 years he just loves this He's so chill. He's got his eyes closed. Now when an animal does that, that's total trust. That is total trust right there. Oh, you're so beautiful. You are so, so beautiful. All right, Z, what do you think? It's getting kind of late in the day, but there's still one lizard I've got to see. My friend Rustin Hardigan sent these out to Ty from Dallas Zoo. And to me, they are definitely the holy grail of lizards. Probably even more than Komodos to me. Komodos are, everybody's got Komodos. Um, all, the, all the zoos have Komodos. But here's one lizard you guys are going to meet next that not all zoos have. And Ty's got two of them. Not one, but two of them. And we're going to go check one out that's actually named after a famous guy. You might recognize the name. We're not going to tell you what it is till we get to the enclosure. And then we'll let you know what it is. But I will give you a clue. These lizards are from Australia. And their scientific name even says it all. Giganticus. So let's go see it. All right, guys. Like I promised you, this is like the holy grail. And this came... My friend Rustin Hardigan from Dallas Zoo had to place two of these. And Ty has the perfect area for them. Now, I wanted you guys to meet Irwin. Oh my goodness. That, he is just a juvenile. These things arguably are the largest monitor species in the world. People say Komodos are, but the people in Australia, they're so proud, they're going to say, Parentes are, but I've seen some big parentes and I've also seen some big Komodos. Now, I've never seen a parenti as big as a Komodo dragon, but I'll bet you that there were parentes as big as Komodos years and years and years ago because they have found fossils of parentes that are just as big as the biggest Komodo ever found. Look at this. See, can you get down there? Look at the pattern. Just don't, just stay right there, Nick. Yeah, you're fine. Look at the pattern on the throat, like the webbing. It is so incredible. 
And these monitors are definitely an apex predator from Australia. Imagine thousands of years ago when these were walking the planet, how impressive that was. Because this is just a juvenile. And for me, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is truly a beautiful monitor. Unbelievable. And just to be able to sit in here with this monitor, when it was a juvenile, a lot of people, Savannah was in here holding him and everything, but now he's getting some size to him and they're working with them more and more. The key to it is, is just coming in here, sitting down, letting that monitor get relaxed and coming up to you and realizing that you're a friend. But monitors are so intelligent, along with other animals, that they recognize people. So just because he likes someone here, doesn't mean he's gonna like someone else that works here. It may be something that triggers. It could be hair, it could be anything, anything. It could be my hat. You never know what could trigger one of these animals. Oh my goodness. That pattern is just sick, Nick. That on the neck and the head and the... Look at those eyes. Look at those things. Oh, that is so, so awesome. And even though he's brown like that, he blends in pretty good with that grass. Those patterns disappear. It's like I tell people, look at the size of elephants. If you've ever seen elephants in the wild, they can disappear in the brush like you wouldn't believe. And giraffes, they disappear as well when they're in the brush. But man, that is so cool. That is one impressive animal. What are you doing? I think he I think he got angry at you. No, oh, that was uh God's up there boy. He must have just got a strike. Let's see. Oh, that is beautiful. That whole body is so cool. And like I said, this is a juvenile. I I forget the exact age on this. Do you remember at all? He is, uh, I think he's four or five. Something like that. He's not that old. Right. Yeah, he's real there. young. And I saw some 10 footers in Australia, 11 foot. And they're, they're just intimidating when they're that big. Yeah, I've seen pictures of big ones, but. Well, there you have it, man. We came down to Iguana Land. It's hot, it's muggy. It's about to start pouring. So I think we're gonna get out of here. And you guys got to learn a little bit about my favorite animals on the planet. Well, some of them, the reptile family, and see a bunch of cool stuff. And a lot of stuff you don't see at other zoos, like the Parenti Monitor. Or there was even a cyclora in there that you're not going to see anywhere else in the world. Just amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey, but stick with us because we still got more to do. Come on, we gotta go. I'm filming. Dude, I, I know he's super cool, but he we is. still got stuff we gotta do. And you can't sleep in here with him, Z. Why not? 
Hmm? All right, well, that's up to you. Give me the camera so we can go. No. <laughs> then come on. Come and grab it for me. No, come on, Z. Okay, fine. Oh my goodness, check this out. That is, is a Parenti monitor. Oh my goodness. This is Geo, this is the other one, and they are absolutely amazing. Look at that, look at that, look at it. Oh my goodness. Absolutely, there you go, that's a good boy. You settled down, huh? Oh yeah, she's got, she's got a You settled down, huh? This is definitely right up there with the top things I've done. I held one in Australia, a baby, but still has the wiggles in them. Oh, they, they don't, they're not used to being held and supported. It's they, it's not that they don't like being held. It's they're not used to it. So they don't feel stable being up High. on me. Yeah. You know, a branch when they're juveniles, they, they'll climb trees. But as adults, they use more rocks. Okay. And they love to come out on the rocks and soak up that heat. And then they'll go in, inside in the caves to cool off. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, so beautiful. All right, guys. Well, we still got one more thing to do. So I'm gonna put Geo away and we'll meet you up front. Guys, we came to Iguana Land. We saw a bunch of cool animals. So cool, too cool for school. That's right, you guys got to see Parentes. You guys got to see so many different Cyclora. You guys got to see other turtles and everything. And what's up? What's the last stop to every uh, area? You got to check out the gift shop. Yep. Right? Yep. Let's go check this out. All right, this is the gift shop here in Iguana. It's super cool. We've got so many cool things here, see? Oh, those are rubber. So we won't go with that. Oh my God, slap bracelets. Slap bracelets. No way. Comment down below if you remember those. Go ahead. I already, I already know that you want to. Ah, it bit me. It bit me. You've been attacked by a snake. Oh, no. Tree. Oh, these are pretty cool. But I don't know how cool that is. A scale of 1 to 10. Ah, uh, they're cool, but... What are these? Uh, way too small. Like old one, maybe? Same size as this um, one. We'll find something. Let's we gotta find on. something. We gotta find. Z? Holy smokes. Look, these iguanas, but I love this one. Look at the orange. It's funny, you chose lizard. the only different one. Of course. Of you know what, Z? I just had a thought. What? We got to find Anna. Okay. Because I want to get one of these and we're going to auction one of these off to raise money for the next facility that we raise money for. Okay. How cool would that be? Yeah. All right, let's find Anna and I'm going to purchase this. And in the near future, you guys will be able to bid on this and get one get the only one that I get and it'll be available in our auction. But first things first, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and then hit that notification bell. That way, when we go visit other facilities, you guys can check out the videos and that learn something new. And I hope you enjoy our videos. Thank you guys so much for following us here at Get Swamp. Get Swamp, share your passion and random act of kindness. It goes a long way. We love you guys. Get swamped. Whew, this is cool.
What a day.